What's an unpopular opinion that you hold? This is where I die. Oh, okay. <laughs> dangerous, eh? I got lah, but dangerous lah, don't wanna. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan and you may know me from Overkill. But who am I kidding? Right? It's, uh, you don't, know, say, don't say it, don't oh, say it, oh, okay, don't say it. Don't, don't give it power. Okay, okay, don't give it power. Hi everyone, I'm John from Gravity Media. You may know me from The Daily Catch-Up or Real Talk. So today we'll be answering questions on balancing our work and our private lives. Do you have private life? No, there's no balance. But okay, let's, let's, let's go! How, how do I do this? <laughs> Sekali I break this one. <laughs> I hope so, it made me feel better. Oh. Enough, yeah. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, oh okay. Squeeze. Please. Ah, is it? It can be done. Have you ever had to fire a friend? Share with us what happened. Oh, I had a friend that came over to work as a server. Bye -bye. It, because I know him very long, so it wasn't that hard. He kind of understands. So he I got no one. Yeah. Actually, people that is gonna get fired. Yeah, okay, no there, there's there's this balance. If it's not a friend, it's easy to fire. If it's very close friend, uh, still can discuss. But if it's like neither here nor there, uh, that's the hard part. Like I think I I outrightly fired only one person in your whole life. Uh, yeah, almost everybody that works in your company becomes your friend. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Eventually, at some point, right? Yeah. Letting people go is very very difficult. Because like, you know, it's their livelihood and all that stuff. And so if you remove someone that's been in the ecosystem for so long, right, it's, it's super crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I break the ball again, ah, lie up, we just up. run with it lah, ho. I help no, you. No, I, I really just want to do it. Okay, let's just have it I think I'll break it. <laughs> okay, and this question is, what are the pros and cons of working with people you are familiar with? Ah. There's a lot of pros, yeah. and many people do see the pros, yeah. right? That synergy from the get-go, especially many of those people also know that they are joining us on a dream. They are riding on potential energy that if this company do make it, we will remunerate. There's no them. guarantee, like. Correct, but they are gambling with yeah, us. Yeah. I guess the cons come is that at some point when you've reached the stage where we have raised funds already, mm. they'll be like, okay, it's time to pay me back. I've stocked it out, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's time to pay you back. But then, very often, it's how expectations don't align. Don't, yeah. Sometimes it may not be in the best interest for the company to compromise, but because they don't want to hurt the friendship, right? Then compromise, right. Huh? but it may not be the best result. <laughs> okay, Ryan and John held back on posting something online for the fear of getting cancer. Wow. Mm. Uh, of course. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> of course. It's like hourly decision whether <laughs> this is okay. We really legit. We got like this style of the work council. Right. On oh, my, okay, no, okay, on no, my no, Gen yeah. Z work with her while he's down there watching, and they say, <laughs> "Will this get asked as well?" You know how many things we say uh, accidentally or in private, right, that may get us cancelled? I feel the internet is very unforgiving when it comes to this. But also very forgetful. Yeah. What was the biggest sacrifice you had to make in order to maintain your relationships? Divorce. A very public divorce. Wow. Yikes. No, no, okay, let, let, let me explain. It's either the business, okay, or the marriage. Right. And we both felt like we were responsible for that many stuff. We made the choice that the business is uh, more important. It's sad, it's really a sad uh, thing because the whole relationship was strained throughout the whole uh, marriage. Right? Building a brand slash curating content is easy. Just shoot and edit, law. correct? Try it. You try it yourself. Yeah, no, I think many people have this impression because, yeah. for example, they film their marriage or when they reno their house. They reno their house, they talk about their reno. Hey, they managed to get like 30,000 views. Then they tell themselves, what if I specialize? Ah? Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I sure can do it. Like, no, yeah, no, 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 the problem no, no, is to no, do no. this day in, day out, week yeah. in, week out. Mm -hmm. Real shit. We can say vulgarity, man. I got a bit of PTSD. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got it, I got it. I got a bit of PTSD. Hey, I got free eraser. Play the country eraser game. Winner gets to set a rule for the opponent for one round. Okay. Okay. Quite wow. good at this, actually. Who was? Okay, just go ahead. It doesn't matter. First you. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, ah, uh, yeah. I, I died. I died. Finish. Set a rule. Set a rule. Yeah. That, um, when you talk, your lips don't touch. Ah, oh, that, uh, it's quite hard. It's quite hard. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I got oh. it. <laughs> oh, okay, at least I escaped. Huh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Ah. Correct? I don't know. I, I, I got a nickname. My, my nickname is Gacha King. So every time I get very good things. Yeah. You know what my parents call me? Hot Zai Kia. 
Kok cek ya? Mbak Yuno ya? Wow It's a simple Come job, on, man. man. Really, it's really small, a, it's small not small a difficult. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, this one is damn heavy. Oh, how heavy is this? Give us your best cheesy pickup line. Oh, I... Don't have. Don't have it. I really don't have it. <laughs> I also don't have it. Instead, like, how how do you how do you get your girlfriend? How did I get my yeah. wow, I can I, I, I... So, I, it probably is later on. Lah, you know? oh. That one was that move that you think made her... Itchy. <laughs> I don't know, like, this one like very uh, personal. I, I just sent her a long text telling her what I feel. La. My confession was like sincere la, from, from my heart. La. Are you sure it's my heart? It's you know. Uh, yeah. Chocolate? Okay. They're trying to tell you something. <laughs> you eat more, Ryan. You're losing so much weight. Eh. Camera cannot see you. Okay, would you rather sacrifice personal relationships or business opportunities? Yeah, like you know when when you, you start a company and and back then I just got married only. Right, right. And so my wife was wondering why am I spending so much time in the office? Why I marry her and then I don't want to go home to Right, her. okay. But okay. I think I had to tell her that if the business is not successful, I feel like I'll be half a man. Right, right. Yeah, right, and right. I need to choose this now. And I need you to understand. What's an unpopular opinion that you hold? This is where I die. Oh okay. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> eh. I got lah, but dangerous lah, don't wanna. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're censoring, you censoring seven things per second. I don't want to add on to that. Okay, uh, yeah, I I would say for the sake of camera, I don't. I don't have an unpopular yeah. opinion. <laughs> no, I really I'm don't. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Name a memorable moment, good or bad experience you had while working with your friends slash family member. The, the, the saga is pretty memorable, I guess. Uh, and all the people involved are friends and family. So it was like a gigantic ball of mess. Fun fact, I wanted to say right, a lot of the ex-crew I see right, joining a uh, like, couple of media companies here and there, I feel very happy for them. And on that note, I feel like sometimes people think that like, ex-employers are sour. Uh. But it's never ever like that one. I'm glad I was part of your journey, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Admit it. Bosses always expand their personal item and dining visit under work. Hey, not me. Admittedly, when we were in our previous company, yes, it happens. But when things went sour, that's when it gets very complicated. Right. Yeah, so I would not recommend it. Last time, yes, now no. Yeah. My co-founder and I, we cross-check each other's things. No funny business. Ah, uh, no funny business, yeah, okay. So, one, one stupid thing we did, right? I think this was quite early stage in our business, right? Mm. Like, there were those companies, right? that can help you expense your entire payroll ah, onto your credit card so you can earn miles. Oh, yeah, 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 but yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. pay 1%. So yeah. that's where the company thanked the 1% for us. Right. So, but back then, our payroll not very high yet. And I remember uh, my partner went first. So he did it. Oh, I got a lot of points. Can fly business class to like US. Yeah. Kind of, then, then the cops like, call him like, and say, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, cannot you start thinking it's unfair to the business? Eh? You better don't do this again. And then uh, my Jackie, which is my partner, had to say, sorry, I need to do one more time to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so then I also need one more time on then we just cannot run the cop side again uh, and then we never do again. Okay. Do you like it slash hate it when your friends slash family members call you boss? Huh? They were very normal. I also call him boss. Yes. Hey boss. <laughs> I don't like it. You really don't like it? It yeah. took me years Damn. to get over it. Oh, Especially really? they call him boss, like they introduce you to their family and their wife and their parents, like, oh, it's right. my boss. I know what, you just happen to work here. Uh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I do think it's a. Uh, Nice way to call people, lor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like, hey, bro. Right. Don't call me, bro. If oh, I'm shit, not. Hey, bro. I feel like, hey, bro, you're. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, as long as we have some sort of uh, friendship right. or what, right? Then, okay, you call me, bro, can. But it's not like the first time saying, hey, bro. Cannot co call you, bro. Ah. Okay, okay. Or at, maybe. At, okay, if, ask you, ask you. Uh, at which point in any of your businesses, right, have you told yourself, hey, I made it already? To me, ah, where is when I get the Fox 30 under 30. Wow, to get the force 30 under 30, I had to sacrifice. 30 under 30 Singapore first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already sacrificed so much. Eh. I, that, to me, that's the end game to me. Like, I okay. Eh. Maybe I was too young at that time. Like, I was like, you were under 30. La. Yeah, I was under 30. <laughs> <laughs> I was like 28 or 27 right. when I got there. Yeah. Like, the biggest moments in my life, right, is when I'm sitting there just thinking about it and be like, yeah. I went for a holiday. Uh. I went quite long, eh, two uh. and a half weeks. I was only needed maybe once. And then when I came back, I looked at the books. Still all good. We chose even more sales. Oh, we all you ha. Yeah, and so when I left and then the big accounts continued, then I knew, oh my god, we are where we are and it has nothing to do with right, me anymore. Yeah. yeah. Okay, tell us something the public didn't know about you. A lot of people watch our vlog and think that uh, we are very fun and interesting. <laughs> person like me. I'm very introverted in that way. But of course, for the sake of video and camera, I amplify my character, like right? Make it more entertaining and fun. Right. 
I don't care what they say. Every content creator, influencer, or wh whoever in this media line, right, amplifies their character. They for have sure, to put sure. on a persona to make it interesting. Okay, last one. What does being a boss really mean to you? My answer to this question changes from time to time. Right now, I'm at a stage that uh, I want to be a good and fun leader to be with. I want to show them that the vision that I had for them was very different from what actually happened. I like to say I haven't scored anyone yet. That's not me being like too lax, right? I have my standards, I have my uh, quality to uphold, but I feel like there's always nicer way to do things or say things. I had two phases, right? The first one was when you realise starting a company doesn't mean you have no boss. It means your whole company is your boss. It went from that all the way to now when people have chosen like some part of their best career years with you. It's how can you build a company big enough to accommodate all their careers and ambition. Yeah. How was it? It was uh, interesting because supply out of nowhere you get a candy. Then sometimes you get like, <laughs> like damn, damn intense and serious question that makes you Correct. ponder upon your life. As I previously mentioned, I think we quite close with each other, reasonably yeah. close. We talk almost, almost like every day. Like. We're not friends as in we go way back. Yeah. But I think we we really got along because we have a lot in common. Yeah, same vibe, same yeah. wavelength, same frequency. Uh, we yeah. got very similar uh, sense of humor. A bit broken, right? Yeah, a bit a bit broken. Yeah, but it's it's, it's always fun uh, hanging out with John. Thank you for watching For Real. For Real, and if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. And, and of course, more importantly, for Ryan and John. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.